I'm taking a look here at the program for online teaching beginners questionnaire and this is designed to help me get in touch a little bit with my own pedagogy. So these areas are divided up into types and the first is about the interest in material. I need to write the number that best represents my perspective as I think about my classroom teaching. This is my face-to-face -face teaching. So when I'm talking about encouraging in students an interest in the material, I'm going to pick a five if I think lecturing is a good way to encourage their interest, a four if large group discussions or debates are useful, a three if small groups discussions are useful, a two if I think students should be given choices of how to learn the material and that that's what gains their interest, or one that students should construct their own method of learning the material. Now, of course, there's, there's an element uh, in all of these that I find appealing, but I think I lean a little bit more towards the uh, large group discussion and debate model for encouraging student interest, so I'm going to put a four there. Now, on the content, the best way to relay the content, a uh, five would, would mean I'm a strong believer in lecture for doing that. A uh, four would mean either large group or small group discussion uh, for doing that, or that students need to be provided in general with extensive content selected by me. Uh, two would mean the content in the class should be at least partially created by students, and a one all class content should be created by the students. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of here, so I'm again going to put a, a four for that. Now on the roles, the roles of student and instructor here, more toward a five if I believe the locus of control in a class is primarily me, more near a three if I think students should be active participants in creating their own knowledge, and toward a one if I think students should construct their own knowledge. When I teach in class, I'm really kind of more in between these two, between me and their active participation. I'm pretty conservative about this. I'm going to put a four. And then on assessments, Assessments are most important to assess factual knowledge would be a five. Assessments are most important to test application of skills or they are most important as a learning tool. Uh, for my classes, I'm really much more here. So that's definitely a three. And I add them all up. Four times three is 12 plus three is 15. Okay, now getting to how to uh, how to interpret this, I'm just going to lose a little, use a little space uh, rather down here. I think the uh, numbers here are really from a five is would be about the lowest to a twenty. If you're closer to the five, it means you are heavily into uh, student interactivity and creation of their own content and maybe even their means for learning. More towards a twenty is more focus on presentation uh, for learning. So do, most people are kind of in here somewhere. And depending on which way you lean, that should be the emphasis as you start determining how to teach your online course. If you're more over here, you're going to want to look at things like making recordings, perhaps of lecture, audio, video, etc. Um, transferring lecture into an online environment and then depending on the the assessment tools how to figure out where students will interact and assessments will be done. If you're more towards here you're more in a uh, constructivist mode probably looking at ways that students would interact with each other your serious issues are going to be uh, discussion forums and other ways for students to interact and create the things that you want them to create. So this is just to give us an idea of kind of where to start, where our pedagogy lies as we begin designing an online class.